Minister, my question very specifically is in relation to the policy for the islands that's planned for a long time. Where is it at? When will it be ready? When will it be published? Go on. And, uh, um, uh, thank you, Deputy, for raising this uh, issue. My department is charged with progressing the development of a new policy for the islands. Prior to the emergence of the COVID-19 pandemic, my officials had been engaged in a process of consultation with island communities in relation to the development of the policy. This consultation, which I see as a key element uh, in informing the policy, was carried out through public meetings on the islands and 11 such meetings have been held, that's on the islands. Due to COVID-19 travel restrictions and to avoid health risks for the island communities, this process was temporarily suspended. With the assistance of the island development companies and cooperatives, my department has been holding online consultations, giving island-based focus groups an opportunity to provide input from their communities and three uh, such online consultations have been completed and discussions are in progress to arrange meetings with focus groups from the final three islands. My department will also consult with other key parties in the new year, uh, with meetings being arranged with stakeholders such as the education and training boards, the relevant local authorities, the HSE, the Irish Coast Guards and the Irish Island Federation, uh, Kodal uh, Ilan Naheran. My department will also reconvene the interdepartmental committee charged with overseeing the development of the policy to reflect on the key issues which have emerged from the consultation process. And in tandem with these final consultations, work will proceed on drafting the new policy. An action plan will then be developed to, to address all aspects of sustainability of island communities and will form an integral part of the policy delivery. Thank you, Minister. Th th thank you, Minister, and I appreciate the problems with COVID and it hasn't been easy, I appreciate that. But there's a serious background, a serious is not an appropriate word, there's a long background to the failure of every government to provide a policy for the islands based on legislation. And so back in September um, 19, we placed a motion before the Dáil, which was accepted by the majority of the TDs, and indeed I think the, the government didn't vote with it, but, but I think accepted it, and as a result, the process was started for a policy. But back in the planning framework in 98, they talked about a policy. There was an interdepartmental committee in 1996. We're back to an interdepartmental committee. Meantime, the population of the islands are in serious decline. From the census in six, from 11 to 16, a decline of 5.4%. This is in stark contrast to the Scottish islands, which have seen an increase in population because of a strong, robust policy based on legislation. So notwithstanding the COVID um, limitations, perhaps the minister might just focus on the importance of the urgency of a policy based on legislation. Thank you, thank you. Um, well, I know that, uh, yeah, it was set up. And can I just say that, uh, uh, Deputy, you'll appreciate that uh, I, I took responsibility for the islands just a few months ago. And in fairness, uh, I think even in that short space of time, uh, well, I have been, I did manage to visit an island this summer as well, and, and indeed last summer. Uh, so I think uh, even in a short space of time, I have shown my commitment to support the, uh, our islanders. I increased the weekly island allowance from 1270 to 20 euros in the budget. And that's a payment in which uh, is paid to persons who live on the islands who are in receipt of a social welfare payment. And I'm the first minister for social protection to increase the island allowance since it was introduced over two decades ago. Uh, I secured an extra two million in capital funding for the islands as part of the July stimulus. And that's going to provide for one million for small capital works on the islands, 500,000 for capital works required at Airport Connemara and 500,000 towards development of the pier on Inishir. That's another important project. Can I, so can I just say, Deputy, uh, I'm committed uh, you know, to working closely with the islanders, and I'm committed that we will de deliver uh, this strategy, and, uh, uh, and, I, I, uh, uh, and I'm happy to work with, uh, with the deputies uh, in developing the strategy uh, so that we get the best outcome for our islanders, because in fairness, 
It's not easy. Uh, living in remote parts of rural Ireland is difficult, but living on islands can present other challenges, and we want to make sure that we can support them in every way that we can. Thank you, Minister. Yeah. Minister, and I welcome the positive changes. I welcome the increase in the allowance. But what's missing in all of this is a policy. So we need a policy that's positive, that sets out specific targets, and it must be based on legislation. Now, our neighbour Scotland has managed to do this. Surely we could learn the best from them. Just take the best. I'm, I, I, I'm not here to... I, I appreciate the effort you've made. The difficulty was that... When this was set in progress, there was then a change of government and a change of departments, and now it's with you. There is a serious issue here in relation to the decline in population. There's a serious issue in relation to the Irish language. I come from a constituency that is four islands, uh, the three, Ilan Arden, Agusanchin, Inishbo, Finna, Imerla. In Inishboffin is struggling for years to get a basic a service, like a primary care centre. So it, all of the... Uh, good things that you're mentioning are being done in a vacuum and we can't continue to operate in a vacuum in relation to our island communities. Not alone are they struggling, but I'd like to put it in a more positive way. They've shown us the way forward in terms of sustainable living, in terms of creative projects and energy renewal and so on. What they're asking for is not right, handouts or anything like that, a policy based on legislation that recognises their intrinsic importance to us if we're going to, to survive. As Thank you. Thank you, Deputy. And uh, yes, the, we will have a policy and we will deliver it. Uh, we have, as I said, there's a lot of work has been done and in fairness, uh, uh, Senator Sean Kine was involved in that work as well, and uh, he, he was very committed, as you are, uh, to, uh, to uh, delivering, and, and Deputy O'Keefe as well, to delivering uh, for the islands, and uh, I am also committed to doing that. So, as I said, we have done a considerable amount of consultation. There's a few more uh, meetings that need to be held. There's the interdepartmental group, because you're right, it's not just one department, it's the Department of Health, Department of Education. Uh, and, and there's a number of other departments involved in that. So can I just say that uh, we will uh, work hard uh, to deliver this policy for the islands.